he doesn't fit your idea of what the perfect son is. According to them in the Bible, you know, it's pretty much considered a sin. It's the idea that if you're gay, you're being tempted. And by falling for that temptation, it's just to fulfill your own greed. Leviticus 18.22 and 20.13 says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind, it is an abomination. So what did your parents say when you came out? He is not a homosexual, Sarah. What if he is? I will not have that in my house or in the church. He's a child of God. That's how I raised him. Regardless of who he is or whom he likes, he is still our child. Yeah. You know, you may be able to force him to play baseball, but you can't force him to be something he is not. So Connor, how have you kept this idea of accepting Alex even though he's gay? I mean, most Christians with your background just wouldn't be as tolerant and as accepting as you seem to be with Alex. Well, since they've been good friends for a while, I don't think anything he says would change that, right? I mean, he's still the same person he was before. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now look at this place. The grass has gotten so long since we've been here. I know, right? I'm sorry for what happened. You know about what I told you? You know, I like you. It's fine. <laughs> what doesn't seem fine? Ever since I told you, you've just been distant with me. Well, what else did you think was gonna happen, Alex? Of course it's gonna be different. I don't know, I... We always tell each other everything, and I thought this is something I should tell you. Well, didn't you think what it was gonna do to our friendship? I mean, I know you're out and happy with your life, but it's just not about you, Alex. I mean, God, you know what I have to go through at home after we hang out. And besides, you've been so caught up in this GSA crap that I hardly get to see anymore. I mean, what if you get a boyfriend? You know? I don't know, it just bothers me. Sorry I've been so distant lately. You know, it just hasn't been that easy for me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gay. What? What else have you told? Nobody. Just you? How do you know? Because I like you too. I've been wanting to tell you forever, but Connor, you don't have to explain. Oh, I was gonna tell my parents. My dad would tell me every day how wrong it is. But this is who you are. You're perfect. Besides, no matter what, we'd still be best friends. Well, the dance is coming up. Alex, come on. I mean, I would love to, you know, but I can't. Oh, I know, I understand. I got something for you though. Oh, thank you, that's beautiful, <laughs> thank you. <laughs>
you sure you don't want anything? Nah, no, I'm good. Just hurry up. Why? Well, I don't want to miss me too much? Yeah. Five bucks. Dude, is that that queer from our school? Who? Over there. Yeah. And you, Fred. Oh, so you admit it, you're a little queer. What do you want? Shut the fuck up! You like that? Huh? <laughs> Is he all right? What's going on? All right, so can you tell me exactly what happened? He just came in to help me. Mm -hmm. What else? Connor, what are you doing here? What happened? It was nothing. Just some kids wanted to fight. It was no big deal. Connor, are you all right? Connor, you know why they did this to you, right? Because you're with Alex. I told you this was going to happen. Dad, will you stop? No, Connor. You listen to me. You're better than this. I raised you better than this. No. I like Alex. No, you don't. Yes. Yeah, I do. Connor, listen to me. You don't like him. You're confused. You're struggling with yourself. You just need help. Dad, I'm not struggling with this any longer. This is it. This is who I am. The only struggle is with you trying to understand that. This has nothing to do with you. You can blame anyone you want, but this is not Alex's fault. Maybe for once you could stop listening to what the Bible says and what your friends at church say and just start listening to your heart. Because maybe one day you'll find some answers. Mom and Dad, Connor. don't worry about your son. I'll be okay. I'll take these days one by one. How you holding up? I'm all right. That was pretty brave we didn't there. I think I owe you a dance. Yeah? <laughs> At the end of the day, all we have is who we are. At the end. 